because in the realm of the spirit, the Lord begin to open my eyes and I begin to look spiritually and the Lord bring back again 2023 election and place before me. I look into the 2023 election and I begin to ask myself a question. What am I looking at this 2023? And the Lord said, there is a foul play going on in the realm of the spirit. Which if care is not taken, there may not be election 2023. People are already preparing. They want to go and be voted and go to be a president. But when the things that are supposed to be in place are not yet in place, there may not be election 2023. We need prayers. We need to seek the face of God. We need to concentrate on what God will do. We need to ask for the will of God. We need to ask for the grace of God. We need to ask for the hand of the Lord to be stretched so that we may follow the will of God and run with what God is proposing for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is always great. One thing is sure is that tomorrow is great. Nobody knows how tomorrow is going to be. And sometimes if one is not careful, today might consume tomorrow. Today might consume tomorrow. What is happening in the country and all over the places now may consume 2023 election. Because each time the Lord begins to show me a lot of things and I begin to look in the realm of the spirit, I begin to see these things as I'm seeing them. This one is moving, another one is bringing and the Lord begins to show me different, different, different things. And that is why God kept on telling me, my people must pray. My people must pray. People must pray because the prayer is the only weapon of warfare that has broken the chains of the devil. That has broken the genes of the enemy, has broken every strategy of the wicked, of Satan, of the enemy of our lives and our destiny. Because I said it last time, I said, the sad time for the destiny of the people in the country is now, not tomorrow. Now, from now, like I said the other day, I was giving prophecy, I said, I see the month of July, August, September, October. And then the year finish and continue as the time of happenings. They enter in the realm of the spirit and the Lord say, this is the time of happenings. And what it means, the time of happening means it is a time that the Lord God Almighty will allow what is written in the realm of the spirit to begin to come to reality and to manifestation. In such a way that we will begin to see things in the realm of the spirit begin to manifest. Because the destiny of the people is about to be seen, about to be manifest, about to come. Remember, every prophecy and gift on this altar, God has always proven himself faithful. Those prophecies, we are seeing it happening. I told you people, I said in the realm of the spirit, these things that is happening now is not only happening in Nigeria, all over the world is focused on Nigeria all over the world focused and then we must not allow the world to laugh at us we must all pray we must all seek the face of god we must all hope on god and we must all ask for the perfect will of god the perfect will of god is what is good for me and that is what is good for you when the will of god comes on your way it doesn't even matter how the will of god meets you what matters is is this the will of god as long as is the will of god let the will of god be the will of God may be that you are riding a bicycle and the will of God says, no need of riding bicycle, walk on the road. You might say, oh, how can I leave my bicycle and begin to walk on the road? You may not know that the bicycle you are riding may not be the best for you. And God decided that you walk on the road. Can you quickly listen to the word of God and walk on the road and see what God has in stock for you? Because the set time of the clock is here. And so, the Lord now began to say to me to tell the people that everybody must continue to pray. Continue to continue to pray and continue to look up to God and continue to seek the face of God. Continue to look at what God has in stock. The Lord God Almighty said, I have a lot for my people in my storehouse. I want to release my people. I want to release the people to possess their possession. So wherever you are, it's time to possess your position. 
it's time for everybody to assume and take over what God is giving to us. God is giving us the light. God is giving us the way forward. God is giving us his blessing. God is giving us his faithfulness. God is giving us his blessings. And these blessings will continue to overflow in our lives. And we will continue to look up to God and to take that which God is putting in our hands. We will not give up. We will not faint. Because everyone, wherever you are, everybody is very, very important to God. The man you see on the road that is walking on the street is very, very important to God. The homeless individuals, the homeless people, they are very important to God. If care is not taken, the people that you think that they are hopeless, that they are useless, and they are nobody, they are common people, may even be more important to God than you that think you have arrived. You that think, oh, you are highly exalted and you are sitting on the top of the seat and you are on the top topest may not be important as the people that you look at come on. That is why Jesus said, when a shepherd goes out and one of the sheep is lost, he will abandon the 99 and go and look for one. Shepherd that has 100 sheep, 100 sheep, and they are moving on, uh, on togetherness for a week, uh, better uh, uh, for, for, for greener pasture. And all of a sudden, one is missing. He will abandon the 99 and go and look for the one that is missing. So the one you think is nobody is common, is more important to God than everybody. This is why I am giving the prophecies of things that I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is happening all over the place. And what God has shown to me. And as I'm prophesying them, I see heaven accomplishing them and they are all fulfilling. They are all coming to pass one after the order because in the realm of the spirit i see the nigerian matter and the case of nigeria being discussed in different different parliaments of the world i see it uk i see it in the us i see it in canada i see it in many countries of the world i see discussions of this country and everything happening here being discussed all over the world being discussed all over the world different countries discussing one after the other one after the other and so we have to pray and come on looking unto God for only the will of God to be done. God has the best. And I'm saying it again, the will of God and the time for the destiny of the people is now and not tomorrow. You know, the time of destiny definition might be a rough time. Remember when God was about to take the Israelites to possess their possession, it was very rough for them. They had to go through wilderness and through so many things. And so the destiny of the people and everybody, God is about to release his miracles and his blessings upon the people. And that is why everywhere in the world, you'll be seeing a lot of things happening, a lot of things shaking. You see a lot of things shaking here and there, but those shaking is not shaking for destruction. Those shaking is shaking for the best because the best time is now. The best time is not tomorrow. The best time is today because Today is the day of the Lord, and the day of the Lord is a day of accomplishment, is a day of fulfillment, and is a day for the greatness of God to be accomplished in the life of the people. You see, I look at everything, and I look at everything the Lord said, a lot of saboteurs, a lot of sabotage, a lot of problem, a lot of things going on. The matter and all that I'm seeing is beyond what somebody can put mouth. It's something is complicated here and there. The complications and all of that is here and there. There's nowhere you can get to. You say, oh, here is clean and that one is not clean. Everywhere is already contaminated from the top to ground. Everything mixed up and contaminated here and there. This is why prayer is the only solution to be able to wash, to wash, to wash. Because in the country we are seeing, we need a cleaning and washing. We need to wash the country, the washing, to wash everywhere. By the time we wash and wash everywhere, then the people's mentality can be able to change and understand what is called negotiation and discussion. Because the problem of negotiation and discussion is the reason why that the people that are there destroying, people here destroying, people there destroying, everywhere destruction, destruction going on. But if there can be what is called proper dialogue and negotiation, I am seeing where proper dialogue and negotiation. Okay, you want a cup of water for yourself or your take? You want a cup of water for yourself or your take? You want this for yourself or your take? Any other thing? Nothing. Now, this place, what do we do about this one? This one should remain here. 
then you will be surprised that even the people that you are seeing on the road that are crying, will, instead of crying, they will turn into dancing. Then you'll be surprised that even the people you think, oh, this one is the worst, this one is the best, the worst and the best will now turn together and become the same. You cannot say we don't have, we don't have, why will have? You cannot say it's impossible, it's impossible, why is it possible? You cannot say it's not negotiable, not negotiable, why is it negotiable? All of these things is the heart. That is why I say there is need for washing the people's heart. When the people's heart are very dirty, they cannot understand what is called the human feeling for discussion, human feeling for talk, human feeling for people to now agree together and also agree for the right thing to move forward. And then the, 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 the people now will be crying, everybody will be crying, shouting, oh, we want this, we want that. But the moment there's a proper discussion and dialogue and agreement and all these things, the people now, everybody will rejoice. Everybody will say, oh, I do not know this is supposed to be like this. I don't know that this is so sweet like this. The sweetness of everything we do will come out when we have a proper discussion. You discuss today, it didn't work out, does not mean that you cannot discuss tomorrow. So I am saying to the people on the top, it is time to finally come down from pride. Remove pride. Remove pride. Remove, oh, I am this, I am that. Remove the position where you think you are and call everybody together. Let there be proper discussion. Everybody should be a stakeholder. Stakeholder from the grassroots to the top should be a stakeholder. When everybody is a stakeholder, involve ministers, involve all the, the, the prophets, pastors, affairs, the, the, the uh, king makers, the, 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 the chief traditional and people, even herbalist, bring all of them. Bring everybody, bring witchcraft. Bring all the witchcraft. Bring all the evil people. Bring the good people. Join everybody together. What do you want? What do we want? And the, the majority will carry the vote. And then you will be surprised what you will hear. You will see that the paradise is not a place. The paradise of heaven will talk about paradise, paradise. Paradise is because paradise is a a place of agreement, a place of orderliness, a place of rules and laws, a place of decency. That is what makes paradise, paradise. Heaven is a place of decency. Heaven is a place of quietness, a place where everything is orderly. And that is why we call it heaven. The places we are having in the world today can as well be like the heavens. You can make your place to be like heaven if you like. You can turn anywhere to be like heaven. You can transform everything and make everything the way you want. And it will be. But the problem is now who will agree for this? So I pray that the issue of all this agitation does not consume everybody. Does not consume everybody. Because the essence of all these agitations and why these agitations are going here and there is because there is no discussion, there is no uh, inclusive, and there is no carrying on. Pray, pray, pray. What will overpower the people that are in position? What will overpower them? They should try to avoid. Let everybody come and say your mind. Come and say your mind. Whatever you don't know, who, nobody knows who is who. Today, I might be saying, oh, this thing I'm having as a cup of water. Nobody can touch it. Nobody can touch it. Tomorrow, I may sleep and keep the cup of water. Another person will pick it up. You see, in the case of, uh, of, 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 uh, of uh, the case of Saul in the Bible, with David, Saul was after David. And Saul said, I must kill David. What did David do? David was just a man of, of destiny that is fulfilling the destiny that God has called him to fulfill. And David was busy doing what God has anointed him and given him to do. And all of a sudden, Saul said, no, I must kill David. And he began to pursue David. He carried the sword, chasing David everywhere, inside the bush, searching for David. He wanted to kill David. He went into the bush, went everywhere, bribed everybody, began to pursue David, began to chase him about. He go to the, to the moon, to the star, to the sun, everywhere David was running for his life. 
And all of a sudden, Saul got to a place and believed, oh, since I've been chasing David, let me rest a little bit. He lied down, was waiting to destroy David, and he slept off. And David saw him where he was sleeping. David came down and went to where Saul was sleeping and got to Saul's uh, a, a, a weapon of war, especially the sword, and he took it away, cut off the water of Saul, and took the mitten and went back to where he was and stood far away and called him, Saul, Saul, look at your, the person you are looking for. And Saul jumped up and he showed himself. He said, look at, look at all your things and my hand already. Do you know when I came over there and collected all these things from you? I would have killed you if I want to kill you. But look at, but God forbid that I should touch the God's anointed. God forbid that I should touch God's anointed. And what did Saul do? Saul said, oh, I have seen that I am not worthy. Forgive me. Look at the person I want to kill. Had the opportunity to kill me. But he never killed me. So when they are saying, don't fight, don't fight, not fight, you don't know who they are separating the fight for. I've seen it in my own hometown. My hometown. I saw two men that were quarreling. And the other one said, if I, I will kill you, if I deal with you, I will beat you. And the other one said, no, you cannot do me anything. You cannot do me anything. Man cannot run for man. Do you think you can do me anything? He said, okay, if I catch you, I will show you, baby. And people were telling them, don't fight, don't fight. And all of a sudden, the man jumped and went and carried the, the man he was telling me he was going to kill. Carried him up. I hit him on the ground. Boo! And carry him and put on his neck. Eh? He's the one saying he want to kill him. And he has carried the person he said he want to kill. And has landed the person on the ground. And took two hands and held him on the throat. All of a sudden, he now slumped. The person that was on the ground was on the ground. The person that was on top was the one that now slumped and died. And was taken to hospital. They tried everything to revive him. He could not come back to life. He became dead. And the people said, well, he's the one that wants to kill this one. He's the one that carried him up and threw on the ground. And they said, no, police must be involved. And police took them and straight away they took them to cell. And the young man went to cell for seven years. He took the villagers to go and beg and say, no, this man did not do anything. No, look at what happened before they were able to release him. You see, that is how the life we are is. When they are saying peace, 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 we don't know who we are asking for the peace for. We don't know whether the peace that they are clamoring for is for you or me. So everybody should give peace a chance. As a United Nations ambassador, Ambassador for Peace, Eminent Peace Ambassador, United Nations. I would love to continue to give the piece of advice and saying that the time for destiny of the people is now, not tomorrow. So everybody should wake up, change. You see, one thing in life is that change is inevitable. When the time of change comes, there is nothing anybody can do under the face of the earth to stop the change from coming. So the change and what we are seeing is that the hour for the people to take their destiny by their hand and become who God wants them to be and all possess their position and get to the point whereby all men's children will be the same. Every man will be the same. You go to the same school, I go to the same school. You go to any school, I go to any school. As long as you have the intellectuality to study well, then you become the best. Not that, oh, this one, it has money or richer than this one. So this one should not go to school. This one should go to school. It's not supposed to be like that. Some of us might have the little thing that it takes to put our children in private schools or in better schools or pay the best of the schools and they go to the best of the school. But don't be surprised that the children of the nobody that go to the school will say is common may even be the one to be in charge tomorrow. And so if we can give all of them the best home training, we give them the best in life, they can be able to replicate that for the people in future. Because whatever we pass on now is what continues to come, especially in the future. So we need special prayers and we need to concentrate and look unto God for the will of God 
to be done.